there's one thing I want to alert you about and I've spoken about it before in longer videos I made years ago and that's the following there are warlocks and witches who do the following when they don't want to face some heaviness that they've brought upon themselves they will transfer that heaviness onto someone else without the individual being aware of it so they have their frustrations and their heavy negative energies around them well you get that when you operate in the paranormal so what do they do they don't want to deal with it so narcissistic as they are they want to dump it on someone else and the best way to dump it is by winning someone's confidence by winning someone's trust and once you've won someone's trust after some brief short of interaction you transfer your heaviness on that individual and then you leave you break all contact and one way um, warlocks do this is by what they call in the world they call I'm not, I'm not sure it's called speed dating or instant dating or it works like this a guy meets a girl online through some dating app or through Facebook or whatever they begin to talk the girl uh, feels enticed and in by the guy so she her interest is provoked she's not aware that this has an unclean spirit drawing her she feels this magnetic pull so she thinks it's her own interest so she's being pulled then she meets the guy they chat for a while and after after the first time of sexual intercourse the guy stops the guy blocks her the guy doesn't even want to talk to her anymore the guy ignores her completely and she's left behind confused why she is caused to be in this state of confusion because the guy's action is confusing it shocks her and this shock it, um, causes a crack a wound in her energy field and this causes the heaviness that the warlock transferred onto her to hang around her and that's why he stays away from her because she's contaminated now she carries all this waste energy with her which, which will affect her she will now begin to draw bad thoughts bad people bad circumstances and accidents onto her and she doesn't even know why she has been used as a how to say as a dump site of that warlock's negativity and there are witches doing this to men also that happens often also and a lot of men are so easy i'm not saying that to overreact a lot of men are very very easy so witches tend to do this often they pretend to be the victim as if some ex did them dirty that ex probably doesn't even exist they're lying they make things up and they get sympathy from a guy but the guy can be a co-worker or sometimes even a guy that's married already yeah which is there to do such stuff after uh, they get sympathy from the guy because the guy is really concerned about her not in a sexual manner but the witch has other intentions so the witch then when when the guy is, vul is, is vulnerable towards her she then uses her craft and she seduces the guy and the guy, the guy often is so overwhelmed the guy doesn't even know this was happening and after their first or second time of sexual intercourse she leaves and she now begins to pretend that he's a stalker as if he's after her while he, while he just wants answers because he thinks what is this uh we had something right uh, and now you just ignore me now you pretend i'm a stalker what's going on the same that warlocks are doing to women that is select as target which you're doing with men they get very close to you and if possible sexually close very quickly but only to transfer their waste onto you there is no love and no interest and not even real enjoyment over here they just want to transfer their waste and all the waste has been transferred bye bye that's how they treat you they treat you like dirt because they transfer their dirt onto you so now they treat you as dirt so guys if you have any woman that used to contact you be very open to you and suddenly she is treating you like crap she may be a witch i'm not saying it is if you did nothing wrong it can be she just has issues and that's her own problem but maybe she's a witch and if you had intercourse with her and after she treats you like this i'm telling you um seek help spiritually immediately because you're in trouble and the same for you ladies if you had an ex that treats you like this you 
have been bewitched in a very awkward manner. Unless you seek help, unless you seek deliverance, you'll become worse and worse. That's what pagans do. It's dumping their waste through sexual energy. And men can do this very easily. Women tends to have to, may have to stay longer with a guy for this to work. And I'm saying witches, I mean, witches do this. No, I'm saying common women don't do this, witches do it. So, this happens. I'm not saying this to make you scared or anything like that. Just beware who you allow to get close to you. Because if it's a, he is a warlock or she's a witch, I'm telling you it's better to lower contact and if possible break all contact because such people are narcissistic in their attitude. So when they need to dump their waste because they want to face themselves and you're vulnerable over there, uh, well, you'll get the honor to, to function as a dumpster, as a dump site for them. Dumpster, dump site, but actually a place where they dump all garbage. Well, what is it for now? If this has happened to you, don't get terrified. Deliver as possible. Acknowledge what happens. Don't blame yourself. Learn from it. Agree with Christ so that you're delivered. Well, that's it for now. Be at peace.